real, real quick. He with the mix up, and we are absolutely going to be seeing Diddy Kong Hail versus Diddy. Bayonetta. <laughs> Starting off on PS2, the you know, You're classic try to stay, Try to stay classic. So let's see. Let's let's definitely see what the uh, the jo the number slayer Jazzy has to bring to the table. I want to see what Jazzy Peko. brings to the table. But right now, Peko is the one cooking. Let's see. All right, trying to use that ABK to continue the pressure on the platform, but Peko able to recover high right there. Smart option, recovering high. You know, against Bale, if you're going low, you're in a risky situation. Yeah, though, uh, like we saw earlier with uh, Joje versus Ling, you know, if you're able to catch that high recovery, which of course Bayonetta absolutely has the verticality to do so, and you're able to force a low recovery, or if you're able to force a barrel recovery, especially, like you're having a great time against Diddy Kong. Absolutely right. I love that. I love that rocket barrel angle. All right, I love the recognition from Jazzy to. Uh, like attack where the banana was, recognizing that Pekka was going for it. Absolutely right. Perfect timing. Perfect time with those barrels again. Ooh, the DBC. The DBC moment right there. I do want to point out uh, that Pekka so far is doing a fantastic job of mixing up his recovery angles. We saw it right there, right before the DBZ. Jazzy was prepared to cover high, the, the high recovery, but Pekka went low that time with the monkey flip. And it, but right, Peko with these recoveries have been on point so far. Be able to get back to stage perfectly fine. Let's see. Back to neutral right now. Yeah, banana in hand, meaning Jazzy can't really commit to anything super, super committal. Absolutely right. Getting hit by that banana is pretty drastic. I'm taking yeah. too much damage for it. Especially on a lighter character like Bayonetta. Ooh, try to go for it. And once again, Peko staying aware of the space that Jazzy is covering Absolutely. to avoid oh. uh, getting his barrels caught. Jazzy had the banana in hand there at that last instinct. He had no choice but to throw it. Yep, unfortunate. Ooh, Perry Ooh. throws the banana the wrong way, and that's that going to be Jazzy living a little bit longer. Does have to contend with Peko's edge uh, ledge trap. Yep, avoiding the barrels there for the ledge trap. Ooh, right. getting caught by that up smash. Yep, Jazzy swinging a little bit too hard there with the forward air, and that's going to be Peko now with a stock lead, running away with that banana, trying to make Jazzy choose an option that can be on it. Wait, my god. No, okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Definitely fine. That kill screen faked me out there. Yeah, that's kind of that smash ultimate weirdness where, like, uh, if you are being spiked, the bottom blast zone moves up to meet you so that it... Uh, kind of fakes out the way that the calculations for the kill screen right work. So Jazzy still going to be living and taking Peko's stock as well. Take from the bottom of the blast, you know, hitting the barrels immediately, not enough to make it back. Yep, keeping us at an even game right now. Jazzy now with a banana in hand. We haven't seen a whole lot of item play from Jazzy thus far in this set, and instead it has really just been Peko's game for it. I agree, you know, Ooh. he's using the banana to his own use, you know. Hoping Jazzy would at least try to utilize it a little bit. Yeah, and right now, Peko doing such a fantastic job of covering Jazzy G's routes, kind of noting the, the the landing areas for Bayonetta, and Peko has been using the banana accordingly to catch that and has been really working out in his favor. 131 now on Jazzy. We're having the banana in hand, but throwing, choosing to throw it away. Yep, Z dropped the finger. Not gonna kill just yet. Good DI from Jazzy. Yep, that being said though, Jazzy cannot afford to make any more mistakes and it just upsets. like that. A mistake was made. Oh, immediately up tilt at 150. So let's see, Peko's bands were Battlefield and Smashville. So let's see what the counter pick will be coming out from Jazzy. Still, despite feeling such a Despite feeling that that game one was so like Peko favored in the momentum, it was so close. Yeah, it, yeah, it was still it was still last stock. Yeah. Curious what the counter pick is. Yeah, Jazzy kind of taking their time thinking about it. No battlefield, no Smashville. Bonus. Nope. Thought, thought, thought about the small battlefield. 
immediately switching to the Hall of Bastion counter pick. Stick into the bail. Alright, so Hollow Bastion switching up to the Bayonetta 1 bail as well. Yep. In that, in that nice little color. Good, good awareness there with the little yeah. ult. Yeah. Got the classic. So let's see how things work out for Jazzy here in game two. Already, Peko starting off with a great conversion. And once Look, again, uh, yep, like again, you were saying. Had the banana in hand. Yeah, not, not quite being aware of having the banana in hand and just dropping conversions for it. And that is damage on the table, especially with just how powerful items are in this game. Like, if you're not like able you said, to... Item power right there, getting, getting the banana forward smash. Already are not 112. Yeah, like, if you're not really able to uh, integrate them into your play against an item character, like, you're you're losing out. Yep, yeah, just like that, getting caught, trying to use a heal slide on the shield, getting the up smash on the shield. Taking out stock. Peko only at 64, too. Yep, Peko taking things patiently as well, waiting for the Bayonetta to land. That's just such an important part of Bayonetta's uh, gameplay is finding those sort of landing strips after the long string of specials. Unfortunately, Ooh. falling on the banana yeah. right there. Uh, again, another situation when you're not aware that the banana is right there in play. Yeah, you're just, you're giving up your advantage, you're giving up space. Giving up the damage you could be applying, you know, potentially could have been in stock, who knows. Mm -hmm. Loving away, Peko's using the banana too, like, immediately throwing it, catching with fair. Alright, Jazzy did actually go for the banana, banana there in a ledge trap scenario, but unfortunately, unfortunately just threw it away, and that is going to be now Peko in a potential ledge trap. Yep, with the banana. Loving it, loving it. Just keeping Jazzy at ledge again. Another fair. Just drop fair with the banana. And I love the oppression coming out from Peko during this entire ledge trap sequence. You're absolutely right. Keeping Jazzy at ledge. Ooh, taking the stock too. Mm -hmm. The down tilt into forward air. Jazzy just really was not able to find their way off of that oh, ledge. The double, double, the double scoop for the banana. Yeah, that's a clean 46 percent coming your out store from your Peko. third stock at like 123. Yeah, this is a bit, this is a ditty with rage. So Jazzy may be losing their uh, winner side stock fairly soon. Ooh. I agree 100 percent. Not optimal to go for a back there, but going for, try to go for the fair. And another thing I do want to point out is that we haven't really seen Jazzy threatening the barrels either. We saw them really start to throw it out oh, in game one. But that is going to be Peko taking things with a three stock. A confident three stock right there. Mm -hmm. That is definitely a statement being made. Again, here we, here we see it. Jazzy slipping on the banana. Once again, not being aware of the banana. Mm -hmm. But good awareness by Peko right there at the end going for a forest smash. Jazzy choosing to neutral get up. Yeah, no, absolutely. I think oppression was the name of the game for Peko that entire 100%. second game. We saw that hugely extended ledge trapping sequence that got him the second stock. And really at that point, you also have to kind of consider just the mental drain. Like you're getting ledge trapped by Diddy for like a full minute. It's like, I wouldn't want to play the game tell either too. anymore. Definitely tell him that yeah. last second, <laughs> last stock situation. Mm -hmm. Like Jazzy, you can tell she was like drained. Mm -hmm. Out of it. She's getting caught by the banana. Got hit to like 40% pretty early. Mm -hmm. Just like, not aware of the banana. You're not aware of what your opponent's doing. Mm -hmm. Peko oh. was able to capitalize. Just take the game, take the set. Mm -hmm. Devin, are we. Are, are we one more, one more. One more? One more? Okay. Yeah, okay. Unmas. Okay. Unmas. 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 We're going to be seeing Carflow versus.